Welcome everyone to my 21 pop straight archers build order. It's called straight archers because you are not making any other military before the archers, you're not making men at arms or making militia for a drush. So this is part of the one of the build orders for my hideout tutorial, my hideout map guide. And like many build orders, this starts with six on sheep. Um, this build order can be used on other maps. It's very common for Arabia. It's a build order, of course, I didn't make up. Like most build orders, I've just kind of taken what other people have made in the past and um, revised it to meet what I like to do. And of course it changes every bit, um, every once in a while. Like here I have deer readily accessible on some hideout maps, they start outside your walls, so I start pushing deer immediately, which means I don't have to use as many um, cows in the process. So here we actually want four on wood, uh, not three on wood. I forgot to change that title, so you can see my fourth villager is coming to the wood right now. If you look in the top left corner, you can see that there is indeed four on wood, even if it is covered a little bit by the minimap. So now we're going and getting our boar. Uh, villager forgetting about himself. And um, part of why I almost forgot that villager is because I've pushed two deer. And now my scout's going to go scouting. Um, the next thing to do is to make two houses. So this villager is going to the berries. She's actually going to make the mill first. Um, oh, I built a house by the wood line. So again, you, you kind of alternate the build order. These are just the general concepts of what you want to do. So you want to build your house before your mill. Um, generally, you'll build two houses. Um, you have enough wood for that and the mill. When you have four on wood, you don't have enough wood for that when it's just uh, three on wood. So I'm going to have... The general timing for when you get that second boar, it's generally when you have 180 to 120 food left on the first boar, and that's enough time to send two more to berries. I went and, uh, well, yeah, there's the pushing deer part. Um, I went and got the second boar when I had about 130, 140 food left, and then I just shift click from my original boar to the next one. So I sent one more to berries, so I have four total on berries. That's very, very standard. It's almost like as constant as three on wood. I put two more to food under the town center. Sent three villagers from the town center to make the lumber camp. And um, I filled it out, and then I hit loom and clicked up. I'm catching up a little bit. Sent three to gold. <clears throat> and then five villagers should be on each wood line. And I'm playing with Saracens here. Then you have the choice of, after you make a barracks and a house, you do need that before the ranges, you have the choice of either making one range or two ranges. A range and a blacksmith will allow you to have a little bit more of an economy focused build order, so you'd be spending more um, of your wood to build farms, that way you get be able to click up faster. But I think on hideout it makes more sense to go two ranges. If you're going to go for any sort of feudal pressure, you might as well um, really go for it. You don't want to go half ass and just kind of do a little bit of both. So here I have two ranges. For that, I'm going to need eight on gold. Um, <clears throat> and then once I have, uh, let's say, six or seven archers, then I'm ready to go out. I do want to get fletching first, so you can see I have a village at the top. Building a barracks and building more houses. Since you're going to be producing constantly out of the town center and two ranges, um, your villager count will be increasing pretty quickly. You can see I'm getting housed there. <clears throat> and now I have... Oh, I don't know, maybe 10 or so archers, not quite that many. And I'm ready to go out. I'm going to put them in box formation so that they take up less space. They're a little bit more compact. I don't have to worry about mangonels, so compaction is just going to allow me to get into smaller spaces quicker, really get to the villagers. And because I'm Saracens, which um, I have the bonus of destroying this Palisade Gate very, very quickly. So in the background right now, I have my 7 on gold. That's how much I need for constant archer production. All the extra wood I'm... Uh, using now is going to be going into farms. I got the wood upgrade, but I did not get the farm upgrade. I couldn't afford that. Um, if you only went with blacksmith and archery range, you probably would be able to afford the farm upgrade. Uh, one of the big reasons why you push deer is so that your sheep don't get exhausted as much, and so you have sheep at that early portion of the game while you're building your ranges. You're going to be uh, not going to be making your farms. And now you can see I have 13 farms, so my economy has been strong behind it. Um, and yeah, the opponent doesn't have much. I'm denying his gold, I'm denying his stone. He can make food and farms. He's trying to build, I think it was a, a barracks right there, and he couldn't even build a barracks. He was, he is on, he is in castle age, but um, yeah, there's nothing he can do now that he is in castle age. So with Saracens, because they can destroy buildings very quickly, 
it can be a very powerful strategy and my opponent GG's. Let me know what you guys think of that build order. If you have any ways you'd like to improve it, I would highly recommend you check out the overall hideout video as well, um, where I go over what the strategy means in terms of the overall game, um, not just you know Dark Age, Feudal Age, but how it would pan out if you failed it, if you ran up against a Khmer Scorpion, which happened to me when I went through this build order once. Um, next up is the Khmer build order and how to fast castle with scouts. Check my channel to see that one, and I'll see you next one.